Hi everyone and welcome to this drawing video. In this video I want to show you how to draw a volcano and in terms of the materials I used my mechanical pencil with HB leads along with regular 4B and 6B pencils. I use this on smooth Bristol board paper. Uh, along with that uh, to help smooth the shading later on I was using blending sticks and also to add some highlighting for the later stages of the drawing I was using a small eraser. But please don't worry too much about the equipment, as long as you have any kind of pencil and any kind of paper, you'll be able to create something like this. So, as you can see, I started off by roughly sketching a very basic outline of the volcano. Just getting an idea of its shape, and the way the sides have kind of an outward curve. Um, thinking about the way the previous lava flow has cooled and hardened and formed the shape of the, the volcano as it is now. From that point, starting at the top of the volcano, I started adding some ridges running all the way down. Uh, using a relaxed hand and adding some interesting shapes to the ridges, I didn't want to add any straight lines because that would look unrealistic. I, I wanted to just think about where I was going to be placing the shading later on, so trying to place some ridges in a way that it would allow me to have some really contrasting areas between highlights and shadows. And um, it was it was fun in this process to try and develop the shape of the volcano and thinking about thinking about the way the light would hit the top, and how to place some dark shading later on that would really be effective, in making especially the top area of the volcano really stand out. And I continued to refine the sharp lines of the ridges, constantly thinking about where I was going to be placing the shading, and how I wanted it to affect the shape of this volcano. Um, I started adding some perpendicular lines to some of the ridges uh, to try and develop the shape and once I started doing that I could really start to see uh, much more of a 3D volcano developing um, and at this point I was really looking forward to adding the shading. Once I was happy with the outlines and the shape of the volcano, it was time to start adding the shading, and I, at first I had to imagine where the light source, the sun, was shining from, um, and I imagined it shining in from the left, so that makes placing the shading so much easier because then you can imagine that the, the shadows being cast are all on the right side of each of the ridges. So I started, I started off by blocking in some very basic shading at first. Um, I think it's a really good idea to just start off basic and then build up the, the details and the layers as you go on. Um, so I, I started blocking in the shading on the right side of each of the ridges towards the top of the volcano. Um, I wanted the top of the volcano to have the most contrast, so I was adding lots of dark shading uh, along the edge of each of the ridges. I wanted to make the top of the volcano the real focus point of this drawing, so adding a strong contrast in this area was super important to me. And so, as I continued to add the blocks of shading going all the way down the volcano, and made sure to add the contrast along the edges of all of the ridges, I tried to add more detail within the shaded areas to try and create that effect of the hardened lava flow. Uh, you know when you see a volcano and you can see the, the, kind of the, the flow effect um, from previous eruptions, it can create these really awesome textures on the volcano. Um, I was really lucky a few years ago to visit Mount Vesuvius and we climbed all the way to the top and it was an amazing experience. Um, I, I would love to visit more volcanoes because they just they truly are incredible.
I used the blending sticks to help blend and fade the shading towards the bottom of the volcano, and also to add a mid-level of shading across the right side of the volcano, even across the highlighted ridges, uh, thinking about the way the sun would be highlighting the left side of the volcano the most. Um, so also, along with that, I used the small eraser to really accentuate the, the bright highlights on the left side, making sure they really stand out amongst the dark shading. Towards the bottom of the volcano, I purposely didn't add as much shading, and I left it quite faded. This is because over the top of it, I wanted to add a low level of cloud, just using an eraser and a blending stick, uh, dabbing with the eraser first to create some wispy clouds, and then just helping to develop their shape with the blending stick, just as a nice and effective way of uh, blending the volcano towards the bottom of the drawing. I also decided to add a mountain range in the background. I didn't want to add any dark shading, and I also made use of the blending sticks to keep them quite blurred. Uh, I didn't want any sharp, uh, dark contrast to uh, take away from the details that I added to the volcano. I really wanted that to stay as the focus point. So just trying to blur and blend those mountain ranges into the background as much as possible. Uh, also adding a faint cloud layer below them as well. Then finally, it was time for a part of the drawing that I found to be extremely fun, and that was the cloud of smoke spewing from the top of the volcano. For this, I started with a 4B pencil, using the side of the lead and using circular motion, first of all creating the rough shape of the cloud, thinking about the way the wind could be pushing it, so I imagined it being pushed off to the right side, and also thinking about the light source, the sun shining from the left side and highlighting the left side of the cloud. So I started adding some extremely dark shading towards the right side of it. Um, also within the cloud of smoke, I wanted to start adding some interesting shapes and some folds, thinking about the way smoke moves in all these interesting and amazing ways. Um, over the top of that, I then used a 6B pencil to add some even darker shading, especially towards that right side, and also to just help develop the shapes. And once I was happy with all of the dark shading that I added, it was time for a part of the process that I found to be super effective, and that was using a small eraser. I used it to add highlights along the left side of each of the shapes within the cloud of smoke, and also to add even more shapes within them, just to create lots of interesting areas to look at. And I found that adding this contrast between these bright highlights and the extremely dark shading was really effective in just making this cloud of smoke stand out on the page. It's such a fun process, and I highly recommend giving it a go. And after that, this drawing was completed. Uh, overall, I think it took about two and a half hours to complete, and it was super fun to work on. I, I love working on drawings like this, and I really hope this video helps out in some way. Um, if you do work on anything similar, then feel free to show me. It would be awesome to see. And if you have any suggestions for future drawing videos, any tutorials or any fantasy or fan art you'd like to see, then be sure to let me know. I love reading through your comments. If you want to see more drawing videos, then make sure you're subscribed, and any likes or shares on this video really mean a lot to me. If you'd like to follow my progress and keep updated with everything I work on through the week, then be sure to check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for the support and thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you all soon.